All right, Scorpio, these are going to be your guidance cards for the week of June 8th through June 14th of 2021. Energy of the week, you have door to personal healing and happiness in reverse. Scorpio, I feel like it was just the other way. Um, so clearly something has happened. Um, something is changing. You're blocking something. Like last time the door was open and now the door um, in reverse tells me like you don't want it open. All right, Scorpio, we're going to do Clarifier from Queen of the Moon. Let's see if we can figure out what is stopping you from going through this door to personal healing and happiness. Balance. There's balance needed in something. Um, I did see the nourishment card, which Capricorn just got, which is mind, body, and soul. Um, I'm feeling like discernment. There's some sort of confusion. There's fog. Um, I feel like something is confusing you and it's stopping you from being able to go through this door to personal healing and happiness. All right, we're going to use the Witch's Tarot this week, Scorpio, to do our main spread. So let's see if we can figure out these challenges or obstacles. I do want to mention we do have that new moon on the 10th that new moon energy is also accompanied with the solar eclipse um so a lot of energy there it, new moons are about setting intentions um releasing like you release something this full moon that's made room for this new energy to come in so now you need to set intentions for what new energy it is that you want to come in So challenges or obstacles, you have the lovers. Um, the lovers is a soul bond. The lovers is also Gemini. That new moon is the Gemini new moon. Um, so if you are in a twin flame journey, of course, that could have something to do with the situation here. Um, the lovers is also about making a choice. This is a soul bond, um, but I feel like it's about making a choice. Do you want to be in this? It's not even about the bond is always there regardless. Um, but it's about, do you want to go down this path or do you want to take a different route? Um, so you do have a choice to make. I do feel like it has something to do with lovers. Um, but I'm feeling like the Gemini energy and I'm feeling like the twin energy. Um, so it's possible someone feels like their twin could be stopping them. Something like that. Um, for lesson already learned that can help with that challenge or obstacle, you have the magician as above, so below. As within, so without. This tells me it's in the, your lessons already learned. This tells me this is something you're manifesting. You're creating this. This person is not stopping you. That's the confusion. That's the discernment. And then outcome for the week, six of pentacles. Somebody gives you gifts. Um, somebody gives you um, like generosity. Someone is generous towards you. It's possible that you are generous towards someone else or you give someone else gifts. But I'm thinking that this is also balance. So some sort of balance is brought. Pinnacles, it's possible that it does have something to do with your things. Um, this could be like a person bringing you a gift. But I'm thinking it's something more spiritual that you're manifesting, that you're creating, that's going to bring you some sort of balance. And I think the sign is going to be like through a gift or through a giving. Someone's going to give you something. All right, Scorpio, this week we're going to use Lightseer's Tarot to clarify. So what can we get for the lovers? What is the soul bond in your challenge or obstacle? I definitely very much feel a Gemini energy. It could just be a twin energy. It's too many. I can't. Oh, wow. You just <laughs> look at this. Oh, the lovers and the lovers. Definitely twin. Definitely just two. Definitely twin energy here. Um, I'm feeling like you have a choice to make with your twin. Um, and I'm thinking like you feel there's some sort of confusion, discernment. You don't understand. Um, you're feeling like if you choose something else, then you're leaving this person. And that is not true. Um, this person, it's a bond. It's a soul bond. This person is always with you. 
but you having this feeling could definitely be blocking you from door to personal healing and happiness. All right, so for the magician, you have temperance. Temperance, again, balance. I'm definitely feeling like some sort of balance is being brought to this situation. Temperance is about healing. It's about being patient. You're healing something. For the Six of Pentacles, the gifts, the generosity, the Eight of Cups. So Eight of Cups is someone who had a goal and they thought something was going to be a certain way. And they get to the Eight Cups and they realize that there's no other cups and there's no way to get to their Ten Cups. So they have to stop doing something that way so that they can go and find a new route, not change their goal, just a new route to their goal. And I think someone is going to come in and balance that situation for you. And it's going to help you be able to understand um, that it's time to take a different route. Definitely clearly has to do with a relationship. All right, Scorpio. So we're going to do guidance from Magical Times. This is going to be a direct message to you from Spirit about this situation. Gentleness. Strength is gentle. True kindness has wings. Love in action indoors. And that is going to fall on top of the lovers. Wow. Partnership. Learn to grow with others. Overcome obstacles by working together. Touch each other's hearts while life lasts. That's going to fall on the Magician and Healing, the Temperance card. Prosperity. Focus on the positive and more good will come. Give thanks and for blessings and they will multiply. Prosperity begins in the mind. And that's going to fall right on top of this Generosity and the Eight of Cups. So that is a direct message for someone. I'm thinking someone thinks that like they can't be in a relationship because they don't have enough money. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but that's what it that's what I feel. Like I feel like they think that um something is holding them up or something is holding them back. It is possible that if you're in a twin journey, um you feel like it's your twin. But I feel like someone out here um, thinking like they don't have, they're not worthy of this relationship. And yeah, that's definitely not the case, Scorpio. So let's see. We're going to end it with a Moonology Oracle. This is going to help with your thoughts and emotions. I feel like Spirit is definitely telling you to be gentle with yourself. It's okay to have this partnership. Um, I feel like it's going to bring you growth and prosperity. Prosperity doesn't necessarily just have to be like your things. I feel like it can also be like your worth or your understanding of your worth and what you have to give for others. It says your commitment is being tested. So I do feel like that. I feel like someone thinks they can't do something. Um, that they're stuck here, that they can't move on, or they can't have a partnership, or they can't be gentle to themselves, or they won't have this, these blessings, something like that. And I feel like the universe is showing you um, through signs that that is not the case. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to leave it right there. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, if it feels like your tribe, please like and subscribe.